May, made your second Brentford debut this evening. How good did it feel to be back out there playing competitive football? No, certainly you've you've said that uh, in a nutshell there. It's just great after two years to um, finally get back on the pitch is, is an achievement in itself, you know. And I think the hard work's paid off for sure. Um, and let's let me try and flip in. Sorry, about that. <laughs> I'm just excited. Um, I'm going to just try and react on that, you know, and, and play as many games this season. And from a team perspective, out of the competition, but there's still plenty to be proud of this evening, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of positives to take out of the game. You know, I think Premier League opposition in the first half, we, we gave them too much time on the ball, you know, and, and um, we got punished from that. But in the second half, a, a different team showed up, you know, and the gaffers did a lot at half time. And, and I think that that gave us the courage and confidence that we needed to, to go on. And, and after getting one goal back, you could arguably say that we, we were the better team for the, for, the, for the rest of the half. And it's just unfortunate that we didn't capitalise on the chances that we had. And a lot of teams in that position going 2-0 down at the Emirates may have folded, but that second half performance really showed the character of this group, didn't it? Yeah, like I said, it's it's a it's like a family team here, you know, and and even 2-0 down, I always knew that we were always going to get a chance to, to get back in the game. And as the game went on, it felt like we, we were opening them up and and it certainly felt like we could have got an equaliser, but at the death, you know, when you play against Premier League teams you make you make one mistake against world class players and and the ball's in the back of your net and we're 3-1 down. But I think there's a lot of positives we can take from that game, you know, moving on to the weekend and um, carrying our winning form at home. And one of those positives, a really sweet moment for Judgy with that free kick in the second half. Another player like yourself who's, who's worked really hard to get back to fitness. Yeah, I, I, um, I stayed in contact with Alan Judge um, when I moved away from the club, you know, and we, we spoke about our, our, our setbacks and whatnot. And for him to score, you know, it... If you see my reaction, you know, I was, I was so happy for him. It felt like I scored because I've seen how hard he's worked and, and no one wants to get injured in football. And, and getting back to yourself is, is probably one of the hardest things to do once you do get back fit. And um, hopefully that goal today, he can move forward with that, you know, and, and push, for, push forward and score some goals in the league for us. Plenty of young players in this Brentford squad. How valuable could this experience prove, prove to be? Um, I think very like the the average age in the team is probably around 22, 23. You know we've got we've got a good core as well, and and some would argue to say that we're too young and naive. But I think this this group here can go the way. Just we just need that belief and that courage. I mentioned for the bees fans, over eight thousand of them inside the Emirates tonight. They were great, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They were. They they done what they needed to do. You know, I think after the after the first goal we scored, it felt like we had we had. An extra 8,000 on the pitch with us, you know, and, and every time we went forward, it felt like a, a goal was going to happen or something was going to be created, you know, and and, and credit to, to all the fans who, who showed up tonight, you know, and I think after that first goal, like I said, they helped us a lot with, with momentum going forward. Back to league action on Saturday, running of one, two of the last three games, that'll be another really tough test at Griffin Park, won't it? Yeah, I think it's uh, any game that we play this season, home always going to be a test because teams know about know about us now, and and we're not we're not under the we're not under the carpet. Like teams are going to come against us and 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 defend when we go to Griffin Park because they know it's our fortress. So I think we just got to prepare right, recover right, and um, do what we can do and, and beat Reading on the weekend. You've had your first taste of football now this season. How keen are you to step back out and play at Griffin Park again? No, very keen. I've watched um, a couple of games this season already at Griffin Park, you know, and and I'm just raring to go. And, and hopefully, I can help if if selected to to help the boys win as many matches as we can.